Hey guys, welcome back. Trey. Trey from Timu. I am going to be making a tray. <laughs> In case you hadn't figured that out yet. And what I have over here is a variety of flora. Uh, we have some pinyon pine needles, we have lavender, and we have sagebrush. So I'm going to be putting these in the tray. Now, these three herbs are historically known, uh, you know, Native American culture and whatnot for their healing properties. So I thought, you know, since uh, I haven't been feeling very well and all of that stuff, uh, that I would uh, make something healing. So anyway, what I'm going to do first, oh, and over here I have two ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one um, that I am letting steep. <laughs> and I'm going to put the pine needles around the edge of the mold as best I can. And some of them are curlier than others and so I'm going to just do my best to put them around. And some of you might have seen the community post. Hopefully a lot of you saw the community post that I put out that Captain Critter brought me a bunch of pine needles and sage from San Luis. So all of this came from Colorado. Uh, so it is a native Colorado project. All right, so now that our pine needles are in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour around the rim. Let me get my high-tech mess mitigation device here. Get you guys out of the way. And I'm going to try to get as much as I can of it in the rim. But if some spills over, that's fine. I just want to make sure that I get those pine needles covered really well. Can you hear that outside? My gosh. I'm hoping that's settled for a little bit. Give it a tap. And if I need to move any around, I can. Okay. That looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep pouring. And it'll stay where I put it. So, there we go. So I will see you guys for next steps. See you Hi, soon. Alright, so we've had some time to tack up a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little sage niblets and just place them down into the resin. And then we have some leftover sage niblets over here. That's a stem. And that's a stem. But we have some leaves here, so what I'm going to do is just sort of sprinkle the leaves. Alright, 
so there we go. We're going to let that cure, and then we'll come back in with our next coat and go from there. See you soon. All right, it is time to put on the back coat. So I want a very nice shade of sort of a French blue, so um, nothing too bright or anything. So I'm going to be mixing up a, a combination of white and dark blue to get the color that I'm looking for. I might have to add just a teeny tiny bit of purple, but we'll see. So I'm gonna, I've got two ounces of my Fooey Tim one to one over here. So I'm gonna add a spoonful of my white. And then I'm just gonna start with a little bit of blue, not a lot, and see what that gets me. So what I think I'm going to do is add a tiny bit of sky blue. Outside, around the outside, around the outside. Some of the little petals or leaves or flowers are sticking up through the back, but that's fine. If they pose too much of an issue, we can always put little feet, little rubber feet on the bottom to make sure that everything is level. I'm just going to go ahead and touch those to get them moistened. With resin. And that looks good. So this tray holds five ounces. Uh, so that's good to know. I'll have to remember that and mark it on the back. So I remember for next time. I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a spritz with alcohol to pop some bubbles. And I will see you guys back for the demold. See you soon. All right. It's time. Let's get it out. Over pour here. There we go. All right. Excellent. Thank you, little mold. All right. Let's see how it turned out. One, two, three.
Oh, very cool. Very cool. You can see everything stayed really well. It got a couple of bubbles in the rim, but you know, hey, that's okay. So we've got our sagebrush, our lavender, and our pine needles around the edges. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Put some feet on it. Yeah. Very nice. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Colorado, French, country, provincial, Let's see what it looks like with a lighter background, too. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.